Welcome back to the Scottish Pantheon. Today we are going to be doing God Nickton, King of Pettish. I am sorry for the mispronunciation if I pronounce the name wrong, but anyhow, he is a very interesting God based on the fact that um, when I did research on him, he is mainly comes up a lot with Easter. Um, so he is another guy that the Christians talk to represent the Easter. You can do more research on him if you like. Um, anyhow, here is his titles, alternative names and spellings, and symbols. Feel the sleep beneath your feet While the year is waning And all about you the bare fingers plead And reach towards the sky My crown of thorns about my head When the dark Shadows walks gone. A seed, a hope for brand new life. Can you hear the spirits of the earth? Can you? Can you hear the spirits of the earth? Can you? Can you hear the spirits of the earth? Can you hear them call? Can you hear them sing now? Can you hear the spirits of the earth? Can you? Can you hear the spirits of the earth? Can you? Can you hear the spirits of the earth? Can you hear them call? Can you hear them sing? Luna sa, it's the life and the death of the call. King Luna. Life and rebirth of the corn king Luna sa It's the life and the death of the corn king Luna sa Life and rebirth of the corn king Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that music. Um, if you listen to the music, before I went into it, I said about that he's an under god that the Christians talk for the Easter. Um, if you really listen to it, it's about the crown of the, uh, crown of thorns and, um, the coming from the shadows <clears throat> and that song is about I couldn't really find a song per se for him excuse me I have a cold <coughs> and, um so I basically used his Sabbath for that music that I would tell you about later what his secret Sabbath is um I want to put a shout out to Peggy Music keeping it pagan um Go to the website. I get a lot of my music for my videos from them. Um, they're a great, um, peaceful, peggy music. <coughs> I'm so <coughs> sorry if my voice is scratchy today. Anyhow, um, before we get started, I want to say happy Samhain because this video is made in, uh, on Samhain. So, anyhow, let's get to it. He is God of four things. He has got a water. Got a whales. Got a pools. And got a springs. And as you can see there, there's a lot of water. I mean, everything that he's got of right there, it's basically like water. So, of course, this symbol that you saw was the trident, which is also mainly known as the trident is mainly associated with God um, Poseidon. But he's basically the Scottish Poseidon. Um, so, though... I just think his story is um, interesting that you can read up on him more. I will give links below in the description. But he is mainly known as King. He wasn't per se known as an all-living God. Now, I could be wrong on that. So I just put him in the God list here in the Pantheon because he is very important to the Scottish people. And he, his name does come up a lot. So, anyhow, sacred animals are marine animals. His sacred color is purple. And of course the color purple, as if you may have saw in the symbols, 
um, there's representation of being a king, and you have the crown and all that. Purple is not only the color for the psyche, <coughs> excuse me, not only the color for the, the third eye and the psyche, but it is also the color of royalty. Um, back in the day, purple was a royal color to have because it was a very expensive color to make. So, purple is his color because he is royalty being the king of, you know, um, Pictish. Pictish. Um, and his element, his sacred element, is water. His Sabbath is loose, I can't even pronounce it. It's in August 1st, Luxus. It's in the name here. And his sacred planet is Neptune. And as I have said, you know, him being sacred planet of Neptune and mortal and having the trident and everything, he is uh, basically, again, the Celtic Poseidon. And his representations is Wells. Pools. Springs. And his sacred orb is sage. And sage is very, um, a strong orb to work with. Sage gets rid of a lot of the negativity, but not only that, it is very highly grown. It's very easy to get a hold of. There's many different types of sage. And sage is used a lot in Native American rituals, as well as a lot of pagan rituals. Sage is basically the number one herb that witches use. So, the next one is his mother is Goddess Diana. Diana. I'm sorry if I pronounce names wrong. I try my best not to. Um, his father is God Lebon. And as always, the name of them will be spelled for you below, because I do have problems pronouncing names. And his his level slash wife was she's coming up again was Goddess Boan. Now he had no divine children. So that about ends it for God um, Nectin. Um, the next God we were doing is actually God Ogama, the honey mouthed. Um, he is uh, it comes up a lot in the pantheons. So he will be our next God and our last God of the Scottish pantheon. And then we will be starting the goddesses. So I hope you have a wonderful Samhain and may the gods and goddesses bless you all.